So this is a painting of Gizmo that I did for my, my sister. So I blocked in the drawing with uh, graphite. It's on 140 pound watercolor paper. I kind of used the, uh, the drawing sort of like a road map of where to put the watercolor. But I don't figure out all the values in the drawing stage. Kind of have an idea of where things are going to go, but I try and try and keep it mostly shape based. One of the things I really liked about this photo is I like the the kind of smile that the dog had as they were looking at the viewer. I thought that was cute, and I wanted to kind of capture that. I wanted to keep things light and airy, um, and so in the final, I ended up leaving. A, uh, a lot of white in the dog just to make sure that that it had a very light-hearted look. I did push the contrast especially in the eyes and the nose but there was a lot of uh, dark areas on this dog. I was surprised because it seems like such a such a light dog when you see it in person but um, the ears are fairly dark, and uh, around the eyes, there's some, some darkness. So I start light because I'm trying to, to build, up, build up the color. I want there to be depth uh, when, you look, when you look at the final. Um, and so I, I tend not to go with like an immediate um, finish. I like to kind of build it up so that there's, there's layers of color there. Pushing the darks around the eyes a little bit, into the nose, trying to get some of the pattern that I saw saw in the photo. As I'm going, I'm I'm continually correcting my my drawing. It's one of the bad things about not fully rendering and fully realizing your your drawing beforehand is uh, there's always kind of some some little bit of discovery and correcting of mistakes as you're as you're going in with the watercolor. Just blow drying some some of the some of the area. So now I'm working some blue into the fur. Also trying to work some of that that same blue here and there and the the ears and into the darker spots. So in retrospect, maybe I should have started with with some blue, um, or had blue be the um, the second the second wash. But it it ended up working well in the end. So trying to get that drawing. I'm just pushing the shadow shapes, pushing the contrast. So once you start to adjust one area, you have to adjust almost all over to make sure that you're maintaining consistency in the image. Now for this right here, I just soaked the uh, background with water. Just kind of did some little noodle patterns back there. I wanted I wanted a texture, but not much. Just kind of push it back, lifting up some of the pigment with the um, the paper towel. Been doing a lot more of that lately. It's surprising how much pigment you can lift up with a good paper towel. So I wanted to get some red in there. Always looks really dark until it dries. That's always a little scary when you plop something, something dark in there and it's not, not quite 
not quite dry and looks really, really bright and almost wrong. A lot of times I'll, I'll start going down one path and then um, realize I, I made a mistake or I need to go back and fix something. Uh, but I'll ignore it for a little while and kind of um, let it germinate in my mind while I'm figuring out how to, how to deal with it, how to fix things. So I'm just pulling up some some of the the watercolor with the paper towel, laying some things down, pulling the edges of it up a little bit. I think I like this a lot a lot more when I started to add the blue into the little little vest that Gizmo was wearing. I felt much more satisfied with it. I definitely simplified the background because I didn't want it to be the focal point at all. I wanted it to, to be back there and just kind of be a, a nice backdrop for the dog, but not, not to actually even be readable. So this is me going in with a little bit of white, just touching a few areas. This is a, a white ink. I ordered it from Japan. I'm not, not quite sure what it is anymore. I got, got a big case because when you're ordering things from overseas, it can be expensive. So I'm just incorporating some of that white into the fur. Get a nice fur texture going on. Trying to find the, the edge the face a little bit better by pushing that green. I decided not to do that on the other side because I like the I like the pastel look of the green on the other side. Just defining that jacket vest just a little bit more but not much. There's actually a lot more detail in that vest that I just left out because it didn't seem important to the image. Just adding a little bit more white around the edges. And there we go. That's the final.